Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Buffalo Cauliflower Part 2. A few months ago I filmed my first buffalo cauliflower recipe and I've made it quite a few times since then and I've sort of changed things up and now I think it's even better and actually a little bit healthier. So in my first video I used a batter which ended up being kind of sticky and a little too thick and what I've discovered that I prefer is to actually use just a little bit of olive oil and then roast the cauliflower flipping it so it gets like brown and crispy on multiple sides and then just toss it in the wing sauce like normal, but just completely eliminating the batter because I've had really good battered cauliflower at restaurants. It was just not something I could replicate well. <laughs> so this will be super quick, super easy. Let's head over to the oven. <laughs> I already have my cauliflower chopped, so I'm just gonna do a light olive oil spray on my pan and then I'm gonna do just a little drizzle I mean that's not more than a tablespoon or two right and then I'm gonna toss the cauliflower and that's it how simple is that way easier than making a batter and like dipping each cauliflower wing in individually in my opinion I do my cauliflower on 400 degrees for 40 minutes and I flip it halfway and then after 40 minutes I add the sauce and then I usually just do another 5 or 10 minutes. Sometimes it depends how big I cut the chunks of cauliflower as well. If the chunks are too big it takes longer to cook, blah blah blah. So while my cauliflower's in for its first 20 minutes, I'm going to make up my vegan ranch. This is not whole food plant-based, but it's delicious and sometimes we just need some ranch in our life. As soon as I figure out how to make a whole food plant-based ranch, I'll try it out. My favorite brand of vegan mayonnaise is either the Just Mayo brand or Veganaise, but this is what they had in the store. If you're from the Midwest, then you know about Meyer. They had two different packages of ranch seasoning and it was this one that was ranch dip mix that was vegan. There's no, uh, no dairy in it. Halfway point, just gonna give these guys a little flip, see how they're getting brown. Oh, look at that one. That is picture perfect. Looks much better than all that drippy batter, in my opinion. All right, 20 more minutes, see you then. This is what I am talking about. This is the roasted brown crispiness I was desiring. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on these guys and then pop them back in the oven just for like five minutes so the sauce is warm. At some point, I would also love to figure out how to make my own hot sauce because I live off of Frank's and Taco Bell fire sauce and stuff like that. So I'm really not sure which wing sauce is my favorite. I've tried three different ones. Um, I do like the Frank's wing sauce, and I do like this sweet Baby Ray's wing sauce. Although this could be spicier, I feel like. OMG, it is snowing outside. It is May. Do you see this tan? I just got this this week. It was 71 degrees, and now it's snowing. Michigan. Anyway, the final product. Let me pick this up. As I mentioned, that brown, crispy, roasted cauliflower, my vegan mayo ranch, and I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you give it a try, leave a comment below and let me know how you liked it. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Be well.